Okay, so we were talking about this triangle here, yeah. right? And you said you knew a couple formulas for the area of that triangle. Yeah. What are they? Well, well, we'll use the in-circle first. Okay. It's the semi-perimeter, and it's the half half the perimeter. Right, which we call S, semi-perimeter. Times, times the radius of the inscribed circle. Okay, and what is the area equal in terms of the circumscribed circle? Well, if we call this side A, this side B, and this side C, yeah. it's A times B times C over 4 times the radius of the circle. circle. Okay, so these two formulas are equal to each other. And it was asking you to find the area of this triangle in terms of the large radius, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say S times little that, r. Wait, wasn't it the radius, wasn't it the area of the circle? Yeah, the area of this circle. You said the triangle. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, you're right. The area of this triangle in terms of... Uh, circle. The area of the circle <laughs> in terms of the big radius. So we get SR equals ABC over 4R. Maybe so to, to find the area of the circle, all we need is this radius. Yeah. Here. Radius equals A times B times C over 4 big R, and whatever these, that these is. These are two different radii. Yeah. Divided by s times s. Okay, so that divide both sides by s. Yeah. You see that? Okay. Now we know that the large is the medium times one plus root five over two, and we can pick any one of our triangles here. So why don't we pick the simplest yeah, one? Yeah. Okay. So a and b are large, and then c is large plus medium. Yeah. All right. Okay. So s. S equals one half large plus large plus large plus medium. Yep. Yeah. Right. And A is large. B is large. And C, C is, is large, large plus, plus medium. medium. So we have what looks like a horrible mess here, but hopefully this relationship is going to help us. Okay. I don't know if it will or it won't. But let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's put into this formula large, 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 medium. And then here we have one half, three large plus medium. Okay? Yep. Yeah. I don't know what to erase. Let's just remember. Ooh, that'll be dangerous then. Maybe you can write um, maybe you can write the A, B, and C up there. Large times large times large plus medium over four times the big radius times one half, three large plus medium, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you see anything that can simplify on the bottom? Well, let's mm. see. Well, we have an L plus M here. We might be able to do something with that. We have we have this L plus M. What is this expression? It's L. Is that that's. L plus M. L plus M. What is this expression? It's 3L plus M. So yeah. Can we do anything with that? No. No, those are different. But something on the bottom can simplify. Well, there's, well, let's see. Well, what if, if we multiply this one half through? What would be a good thing to multiply that one half by? If we multiply it by 2, you just get rid of it. Well, we don't have any twos around. Well, we, we have four. Ooh, what happens to that four? Well, it, four times one half uh, turns it into a two. Ah, so this expression simplifies to be radius is L squared times L plus M over, over two, two R times, times three L plus M. M. Okay. Yep. Hmm. hmm. Now, what can we do from here? What can we do from here? Well, we know how M and L relate to each other. So okay. maybe we can use that. Okay. So we're going to have to substitute in for L here. We're going to put right. M times 1 plus root 5 over 2. So... Okay. Or should we substitute in for M? Uh, let's, is, let's substitute for L yeah. so we don't get any pesky fractions. Well, either way we're going to get pretty pesky fractions, mm -hmm. but well. let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay. All right. Okay. So, L is M times 1 plus root 5 over 2. So, so I get M squared times 1 plus root 5 over 2 squared 
times L, M times 1 plus root 5 over 2 plus M. See, we're getting, we're getting these pesky fractions? Yep. Yeah. Over 2 to R, R, which is and 3L plus M. So 3M, 3M, 1 plus root 5 over 2, and then plus M. Plus M. Mm. Now, one really nice thing here, I know this does not look nice at all. No. Okay, not at all. Okay, so. We need to find something. Well, but here we have we have an m in every term. We have an m in every term. Yeah. Well, what? Yeah. What about the two r? Well, the two r we're gonna have to deal with later. So. Okay. Let's see. Well, we can take an m out of everything. You can take an m out of everything. I'm just gonna cancel that m. So I'm gonna pick the m that's on the inside here. It's in every term. Yep. Yep. Goodbye m. Goodbye m. It turns into a one. One. And goodbye M in here, goodbye M in here, turns into a 1. Um, but when the, oh yeah, this M is time, so that, that M doesn't change. That M has not changed. Now, we have 1 plus root 5 over 2 plus 1. What does that become? Well, it's, it is, it's, well, it's 3 plus root 5 over 2. 3 plus root 5 over 2. Here we have 3 times 1 plus root 5 over 2 plus 1. So, so 3 mm -hmm. plus 3 root 5 oh. over 2 plus, plus 1. Yeah. Which is 5 plus 3 root 5 over 2. 5 plus 3 root 5 over 2. 5 plus 3 root 5 over 2. Now I've got a 1 half on the top, 1 half on the bottom. We can cancel out that. Or I could cancel out this 2 with that 2. What would you rather do? Uh, let's cancel out the halves yeah. so we can get rid of as many fractions as possible. Okay. And now I have this 1 plus root 5 over 2 squared. Sorry. 1 plus root 5 over 2 squared. Well, it's x plus y squared is what? x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, so I'm going to have a one-fourth here, yep. and this is going to be 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. So it's going to be 6 plus 2 root 5 all over 4, which simplifies to be... Well, it's 3 plus root 5 over 2. Over 2. Well, we have a, well, ooh, we have a 3 plus root 5 in everything now. Except we have that over two. We have oh, but we have five plus root five. Yeah, yeah. gotta be careful. Yeah. All right. So we have a three plus root five squared on the top. We have five plus three root five on the bottom. This two is going to join with that two and become a four. Yeah. Okay. Four on the four. bottom. Three plus squared. Squared. Uh, all right. Okay. So, what I get? So we got. I get the little radius is a medium times three plus root five squared over. We have an m squared there. Sorry, you're right. M squared over a rate r times four times five plus three root five. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. But why is this covering the whole thing? You leave a bracket there. Sorry. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So it's a, it's a, we've got lots of root 5s floating around, but now I have an expression for the radius in terms of the other radius. Yes. And to get rid of whatever a medium is, why don't we just call it, say, a medium is equal to 1. Okay. Alright. Boom. So, one. Okay. So, well now, wait, the area of the in-circle is pi is r squared. Pi, yeah, it's pi times this squared. Okay. So this equals, it's pi times this. that thing squared. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty squared. amazing. Yep. Thanks. Why don't we go to Wolfram Alpha and see if we can figure out what this is. Okay. All right. Okay? Yeah.